Hi everyone and welcome back to Serious Sunday. My name is Luke and this is the show where I talk about video games and things. Today, I wanted to talk about convergence in video games. It's been a while now since the mobile games market sort of overtook the industry. Back when I started in game development in the late 2000s, I was one of many that were incredulous at best about the prospects of mobile games ever really overtaking the PC and console business. Even though at the time PC gaming was largely considered to be a dead industry, Steam was a rising star of sorts and I like to think that I was one of the few in my little corner of the games industry in Japan that called the rise of Steam and the revival in force of the PC gaming market into the 2010s. At the start of my career in game development, smartphones existed, but it wasn't really until the success of Angry Birds that many of us really sat up and took notice and started to take mobile games more seriously. Even in the beginning of many of our mobile games development careers, it was still a bit of a joke. The difficulty developing for mobile platforms due to memory limitations, weak processing and graphical capabilities, and strict guidelines on things like file size made it sort of like the wild west of developing on the old NES, having to work around all of those restrictions. It was a question of increasing power of PC and consoles, while phones were, well rapidly getting better, still very limited. The Nintendo DS was a smash hit and would have been foolish to ignore the power of handheld gaming, but the DS, while incorporating a touchpad, was still a dedicated gaming device. I foolishly believe that the limitations of the touchscreen exclusive interface versus the many buttons of a controller, or the versatility of the keyboard and mouse, would mean that games would have trouble really thriving and ever reaching a critical mass on something like a cell phone. Of course, at the time, Modern Warfare 2 was the hottest thing since sliced bread, breaking every sales record and setting a new standard for games in its own era, and it was a fairly hardcore action game that used a complex gamepad control to play. The checkboxes for mainstream success in gaming at that time were live multiplayer, deep skill-based gameplay, and intuitive control schemes. This was true of Modern Warfare, it was true of League of Legends, despite my many criticisms of its design, and it was true of Diablo, and all of those other games that were doing so amazingly well, and these features still dominate the market for mainstream popularity. But it's impossible to ignore the juggernaut that is mobile free-to-play gaming. Whether you understand it or not, Clash of Clans popularity is undeniable. Hundreds of mobile studios opened, and the mobile games market exploded even beyond that of when Rovio had us slingshotting grunting round birds at physics puzzle structures. A big AAA console or PC game will still garner a lot of attention, but mobile has really rolled in and eaten the rest of the games industry's lunch in the last few short years. But somehow Supercell has managed to retain customer loyalty over multiple games, including a massive shift in gameplay from the asynchronous build and battle genre of Clash of Clans and Boom Beach to an as yet previously unsuccessful synchronous multiplayer model in Clash Royale and in Brawl Stars. I'm willing to admit that, to a certain extent, we mocked those inferior devices because they weren't able to deliver the pure gaming experience that we believed that players were looking for, that all of our data said that they were looking for, but mobile has proven to be a much more worthy adversary to AAA than we ever could have imagined. It was such a different beast, and with Brawl Stars making waves now and Supercell managing to capture the attention of the mobile gaming world once again, and other synchronous game experiences popping up, and experimentation in solving the interface problem, they're paving the way for what I'm calling video game convergence. Suddenly, we're seeing mobile games that are getting closer and closer to ticking our boxes. Game console and PC technology, though growing, do feel like they're reaching a bit of a plateau, while mobile devices just keep on getting more and more powerful. PlayStation games are playable now on the phone with some creative wrangling, and though, yes, your iPhone still won't beat a DIY home-built gaming PC for power, the average mobile device is still getting more powerful with each iteration, and we've already seen a fair amount of convergence between PC and mobile thanks to things like the Surface Pro tablet PC merging the two. Mobile and portable gaming is starting to gain the player acceptance that we never thought we would see in the mid-core space. And mid-core gaming is, some of us believe, the gateway to the more hardcore game experience. And we won't likely be seeing Dark Souls on mobile anytime soon, but we've already ticked a few of those boxes for the mainstream hardcore gamer success. The control scheme is still the last major hurdle in this point. I'm most likely wrong, but I see peripherals being the next big step towards tearing down the lines between the PC, console, and mobile devices. 
Whether they be an AR keyboard and mouse or something else completely, I haven't yet managed to envision yet, but it's an interesting time to be in games, and maybe we're getting to that point where in the next decade or less, devices will be meeting in the middle. Maybe VR, niche though it is, is going to be a contributor to that. I'd love to hear some of your predictions on the future of gaming on our many devices of choice. So let me know what your forecast is in the comments below. That's all that I have for today. There are a lot of as yet unfinished thoughts in there, so it might have felt a little bit jumbled, but I hope that you got something out of today's video and that you enjoyed listening. I hope that you'll consider joining our little cadre of game enthusiasts and that you'll consider returning for a few more of the videos that we have to offer, be it Serious Sunday, our weekly Thursday game development talk segment, ThursDev, or some of our Let's Plays. I hope that I'll see you around here soon, and I also hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by, and take care.